What it do, Media Ninja Squad? It's your boy Fierro Boy 86 coming back with a brand new video for y'all. So in today's video, it didn't happen again, man. If you're not following me on YouTube, Snapchat, or TikTok, please do so at Fierro Boy underscore 86. Also, please follow me on my brand new Instagram channel at 214 Fierro Guy. And if you have not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. Because I'm the only guy that's going to be bringing you Fierro's, Corvairs, and Car Show content. Y'all already know what it is. And also go ahead and smash that like button for you, boy, because you already know what it is, man. Hey, it's your boy, Fierro Boy 86. We up in here. So, today's video, we basically just going to just talk about um, what has happened with my car now. Um, I have less than a week and a half before I get ready to head out to Wisconsin for the big Fierro show, which is Wisconsin Dales, which you have over 200 plus Fierros out there. And once again, engine light pop on. Don't know what's going on. Don't understand what's going on. I'm, I'm driving. Um, yesterday I had went out to uh, Waco to go see my cousin, you know what I'm saying? My auntie, cousin, everybody for their birthday. And um, I get ready to leave and I start going to the um, to like the gas station. So as I went to the gas station, my car doing good. I don't see no engine light or nothing. I get ready to leave the gas station and the engine light pop on. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So as you can tell right up here in the right hand corner, this right here is what it's showing when I had went out to uh, AutoZone uh, about an hour ago. It's basically showing, you know, like this um, EVAP system, you know, gas cap, stuff like that. When when you are checking a new car, and this is why I hate new cars, y'all. This is why I, I, I don't ask nobody to go buy a new car. I don't even want nobody to go buy no new car. Yes. It's a point A to point B, but it isn't a hassle. It is a hassle now. Because new cars, they have you buying so many parts that you don't even need. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like that. If I'm driving and my engine light come on, I should already know what it is. I don't need for my car to tell me, oh, well, you you know, like your tire sensor is low, but it's like, I don't care nothing about that. I mean, yeah, it's just a sensor. Okay, whatever. Um, these new cars, y'all, y'all have to be real careful with these new cars. I'm just gonna just tell y'all, if if you are young or if you do not know anything about a car, please go buy a car you can work on. Please do not go investing into new cars. This is the reason why. I'm gonna give you three reasons why not to invest into a new car. Number one, there are uh, Mm, I'm going to say their sensor system is off. So, like, let's just say if A, B, C, and D. So, like, let's just say if a gas cap, like, let's just say if a, um, like, let's just say if, a, if, 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 like, a tire system, a tire sensor is out, like, let's just say if it's a water system problem or anything or the sensor for that or or like a sensor for like a uh, for like a gas tank, right? Now let's now let's look at A, B, and C, and D, and let's look at what the sensors are saying. The sensors are saying, okay, well, well, it's a it's like it's like a leak in your cooler. That's number one. Number two is telling you about about a water flow system, which is like your um, windshield wiper cooling uh, sensor is out and everything. Please do not invest into new cars because you're going to waste your time. I'm just telling y'all. If you talking about buying a car, go buy a car you can work on yourself. Do not waste your time. Yes, I'm not telling you to boost your credit. Boost your credit however you want to. But I'm just saying if you want to work on a car or if you want to learn how to work on a car or anything in that nature, please do not go buy no new car. It's a waste of time. Every time something happens, it's gonna be because of a sensor or something or something with a sensor on it. You know, it never fails. You can't put your hand off in the car. You can't work on the car. You can't do anything. 
You know what I'm saying? And with me being a mechanic, I can work. I can work on this car any day, all day. But why? When you have a a, 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 um, a system telling you about everything, you, you you your mind is confused. Like we yet, you know what I'm saying? Like what is I'm looking for? You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I say if you are into cars, go buy something you can work on. Do not waste your money on new cars. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be at the dealership. You're going to stay at the dealership. And it's, and it's and it's not good. Number two. um, Like, that's another big thing. I was running back to the dealership every time. You know, like, there should be a point in time where you can work on your own car on something. You know what I'm saying? And with these new cars, you're not able to do that. Yes, you're able to change stuff and you're able to take stuff off and stuff like that, but you're not actually able to work on your own car. And that's not good. Number three is plastic. Why Why do anybody want to drive a plastic car? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, like, like that right there is something that I don't want to drive. I don't like driving plastic cars. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. My Pontiac Fierros are plastic, but... It has metal underneath. And I mean double metal, triple metal, however you want to say it, underneath. Also, I also drive Chevrolet Corvairs, which is metal. I don't care anything for these cars, y'all. I really don't, you know. And I'm just really, really pissed off that, you know, I have to go back to this situation again of this car messing up, you know. And um, I'm just, like, really, really sad, you know. I just wish that... Um, I just wish that like it it you know what I'm saying that it it like uh, these cars man that's why I can't deal with them that's why I can't deal with new cars y'all you know like I just cannot believe this you know uh I was saying I only got like a week and a half y'all so hopefully I can get to the dealership in time enough and see what's going on Pay all this money for Ubers, you know what I'm saying? You know, and um, I write that what it is, y'all. Well, please like, comment, subscribe, and share up on this video. Please let me know what you think about this video. You know, all right, y'all. It's your boy Fierro Boy 86. Y'all already know what it is. Yes, sir. We up in here. We ain't going nowhere. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy. I'm out.